What is up guys and welcome back to another Bojinjin vlog. As you can see, it's still really hot. And uh, well, <laughs> they say that sauna is good for you, right? Saunas. And I don't really have a sauna that I can go to, so <laughs> impromptu sauna. <laughs> but anyway, so today I actually want to do something a bit different. Um, I used to do something called Lego Mobo, right, which I stopped doing for a while. And it's an entry where I just kind of gush a bit, right, and I just talk about my life, but also whatever comes to mind. Um, and so I thought I would do one of these just, you know, to, um, I don't know, I guess, update who was watching this on my life situation and also just kind of get things off my chest, you know, etc, etc. Um, so yeah, Lego Mopo. Lego! <laughs> um, so... Oh boy, like... I'm almost 30. <laughs> it's crazy, like, I'm 30 and like... Like... Less than... Let's see, it's May now. So it's June soon. June, July, August, September. Four months, and I'm 30, right? And I haven't really thought about it that much because, you know, who, who thinks about the 30s when they're 20, in their 20s, but like, I'm almost 30, and it's like, in, in one sense, I don't, I'm not too worried about it because like, hey, like, I don't think that much is gonna change. You know, people like, it will have a different reaction in people because it's like, you know, how old are you? I'm 30, so, really? You know, have that reaction as opposed to really 29, right? It's like a kind of a, a quantum leap right there. But in terms of my lifestyle and my goals right now, I don't think much is going to change. You know, my, my physiology is not really going to change that much. You know, it's just a number. But still, it's, you know, it, it's, it's, the, it's the landmark that everyone talks about. You know, it's like list of things to do before I'm 30, right? And it's like, I'm already 30. And, I don't know, I guess that freaks me out a bit sometimes. But, like, at the same time, again, you know, I, I, I know that, like, at least, I, you know, at least I still have my 30s to, to do this thing. You know, and even if you're in your 40s or 50s, you know, it's like, it's really up to you, right, you know. At the end of the day, right, one thing is that, Okay, I'm doing something where, like, I have a goal, right? So, like, my current goal is to, like, make a piece of music a week. Right? That's my current goal. Um, I also have other things I'm doing, right? I'll, I'll list them off here, but, like... Um, yeah, like... Make a track a week, basically, is, is my goal. Because I have chosen music as my vehicle. Um, towards success, and so far, the, I'm, I, I came up with that goal, I think, at the beginning of April, something like that, and it's now, like, kind of three, two-thirds of the way through uh, May, so it's been, like, six weeks, six and a bit weeks, and in that time, I've made two tracks. <laughs> so, have, has it been a bumpless ride? Fuck no. Right? Uh, I am hella behind. But, you know, for the first time in my life, I'm like, you know what? If you don't make it, it's okay. Just, like, refocus your efforts on next week. Right? If you don't finish this track this week, finish it by next week. Right? Um, the, the, because along the way, I've trained my focus away from thinking in terms of, like, goals, right? In terms of, like, this goal has to be met to, like, process, right? Because it's like, I'm going to be doing this for a long time, or at least until I find something else, and that's not going to be anytime soon. So it's like, okay, the important thing is to just keep going, right? And if I'm beating myself too much, I'll just stop altogether, right? So it's like, okay, just, like, focus on doing... Um, like, doing the small things every day, right? You know, just making sure that you do a bit every day, right? And then, like, 
push it a bit more, right? You know, things of that nature, right? Um, but yeah, man, you know, so I have something rigid in place, but like, you know, on the journey here has not been, I didn't expect any of this to happen. Like it's nothing mind blowing, right? You know, I, I make vlogs on YouTube and I do, do other things on YouTube, like let's plays, things like that. So nothing too crazy by today's standards, but like I, um, yeah, like I didn't really see like the clear route that, that I would take. And like, that's kind of something that you need to realize and you probably already have realized is like, you know, you, you move in the direction of your heart, but like the actual route that it takes, you know, is meandering. And sometimes you have to course correct because sometimes your expectations were wrong. You know, you thought, that you would, all you had to do was to make a song or write a book once a year and suddenly people would be like, oh my God, this guy's amazing. You know, just, just make sure to make it your, your magnus opus, right? And then like everyone is gonna suddenly like, you know, cause like fucking, I know people have done it, right? You know, like so-and-so has done it, you know, they were an overnight success. And then this it's like, yeah, you know, eventually you learn that that's not exact, that's not necessarily the case, right? And then you might get a bit too cynical about it, right? And then you realize that that has its pitfalls, right? So last, you know, this is going back to last week's entry about like ideological possession, you know, what you think, you have to make sure that you balance it, right? Because like sometimes you can be so like engrossed in an idea and like, this is the way it is, right? You know, I'm just too like, you know, I need to work with no sleep or like, you know, ah, it's okay, I'll take my time. I need to come up with the best fucking piece of art. And then when I release it, everyone's gonna be sucking my D, right? You know, but it's like, no, you have to kind of, you have to kind of make, you have to kind of like, make sure that those two play in concert, right? Otherwise, yeah, you're living in a fantasy. You know, either a positive fantasy or a negative fantasy, right? So, you know, and like, the goal is to be optimistic, really, right? You know, it really depends what kind of person you are. Like, I, was never really, really pessimistic. Like, you know, like if anything, I was actually kind of optimistic, right? But maybe because of that, like in my upbringing, like I kind of was, uh, let's say painted over with like a, a coat of negativity as I entered my twenties in particular, since like I went through like realizing the whole realizing that like university and like getting a job and all that shit was like, no, no one told me, right? That like okay, you don't just you don't just move from there, right? You have to then like fucking work at a job for the rest of your life potentially, and if not that, you know, particularly in today's job economy climate, right? You're going to be jumping between jobs, so you're always going to be have to having to like update your CV and shit like that, and, and keeping keep references, you know, uh, within arm's reach and shit, right? Update your skills and shit, and it's like yeah, going through all of that, yeah, you know, it's like. And just having low self-esteem in general as I was growing up, you know, yeah, like, I would say that I'm probably more, neg like, negative than I am positive. Right. But, like, I would say probably only just by a margin, only just so much that, like, it makes, it makes me, like, more negative by default. But like, again, I wouldn't say that I'm super pessimistic, you know, just watch my videos, right, you know, I'm not, I'm not super pessimistic at all. But like, I have a leaning towards negativity, right? Just like, kind of like, well, can I really do it? You know, blah, 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 um, that kind of thing. You know, I'm not like, oh, I can do it and just do it and be optimistic and like, yeah, everything, everything will work out fine. Like, no, <laughs> like if I was more like that, I would probably be more successful or something. But like, yeah, but like, um, but and so like I aim to be more optimistic, right? Because like, even though I am, I have a tendency towards op uh, pessimism, I like optimism more, right? I think I'm more wired for optimism. It's just that it was kind of beaten out of me a bit, like, you know, in my early life. But like, I like optimism, so I, I make sure that I'm more gratuitous with optimism. But like, I just make sure that like, I'm pessimistic enough so that I, I'm not like in cloud, on cloud nine, like, oh, nothing's going wrong. Everything's gonna be fine, you know? And like, you know, all the while, like, it's like I'm getting older and like, you know, I'm not doing anything, you know? People are getting ahead of me, like my competition and stuff. Um, I'm not keeping up with the times, things of doing, th ways of doing things and things like that. 
but you know, um, yeah, you know, this year in particular, I'm, I may have mentioned this in my entries, but like, I've been focusing more on, well, I realized that like, obviously I need to work. I, it took me like 29 years of my life to, to figure that out. I always knew that I had to work, but like, you know, saying it and thinking it is one thing, but actually doing it is another. But I also realized that like, it's about pro proactivity. So that's the kind of my re re most recent kind of think thinking, right? It's like proactivity, right? It's like proactivity does not just mean being proactive with work because that's what most people think or that's that's the kind of feeling that most people have when, when someone says be proactive, right? And maybe it's because I've been through my share of job interview, like, you know, tr like job training type of scenarios where they hammer you with these fucking like buzzwords, you know, proactivity, responsibility, um, customer service, like, you know, all of this shit, right? Efficiency, assertiveness, you know, like, they, like that's like the corporate, you know, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, like if you're in a job, right? Uh, like, and you go through a training session, like, or like a, uh, an ice breaking team building session, then like, they'll do things like this. It's like, what, what are like, what are worthwhile character traits that you should have in a job environment? It's like assertiveness, respect, you know, and all of this shit, right? <laughs> but, and I, yeah, I had my fair share of that in my 20s, my early 20s, but, um, yeah, like, but like the first kind of reaction that we get is like, oh, they're talking about work, oh man, be more pr proactive with work, I guess. But no, proactivity means being proactive with your work, but also with your relaxation, right? That's what that means. That's how proactivity manifests in a not non-lopsided way, right? Because guess what happens, which I learned painfully throughout my 20s, right? when you work and you're just like, I just need to work. And you, and, you, and you don't think consciously about like having to take breaks and shit like that, right? You burn out and you binge on things and you lose your motivation and you become miserable, right? You can't sustain that shit, right? So like this year I learned, right? That like, okay, I've been here before, right? I start, I've start, I'm starting, to, I have goals now, right? I'm starting to work on them. But like, I know that like in the past I made mistakes where I would work, try, I would try to like exert myself too much, you know, and it's not only that, it's like thinking too much, like, okay, I need to be doing work. I need to be doing work. Okay. I'm tired. I'm hungry. Let me get some food. Excuse me. As, as you're eating food, um, as you're eating food, they're like, oh God, why aren't I working? I need to be working when you're about to go to sleep. Oh, I need to wake up tomorrow early to work on this. Oh man. Work, 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 work. And you're just like, your brain is like non-stop. Like, I made a promise that I would be proactive. Therefore, I'm going to be proactive AF, right? And you're just like, you don't realize that proactivity means work when you need to, motherfucker, right? But once you have done what you need to, you need to relax, right? And I mentioned in that entry where I talked about... Um, uh, I forget which exact entry it was, but it was one of my latest entries. And I talked about how, um, yeah, I'm a type B personality, right? I grew up without a care in the world. Like, you know, it's like, life is so fun, haha. <laughs> like, you know, just playing video games and like being a goofball, you know, and then getting upset with me when people would, inev would like inevitably like be like, you know, grow up, Bo, stop being so irresponsible. I'm like, <laughs> why are you screaming at me? And then, and then like after a while, like after being upset, I'll be like, hey, yeah, video games, amusement park, right? You know, I was that kind of a person, right? Um, you know, and so for me to come onto the realization that I have to be proactive with my relaxation was like brain violation, <laughs> you know? Violation of the gray matter, right? It was like, what the hell? What the hell, right? This... What? It's, it's like... It's like a fish... That like... Was like, I'm going to become a land creature. You know, flops onto shore, stays there for as long as... It takes to... Uh, to not fucking... Uh, dehydrate, <laughs> which is probably like maybe a few minutes. And then comes, goes back into the water and is like... 
I need to, like, you know, yeah, it's, it's, it's that, basically. It's like a fish that comes out of water, and it's like, I'm gonna stay here as long as possible so I can learn how to be a land creature. Did you, did you have you, you guys ever seen that SpongeBob SquarePants episode where, like, it's like a really early one where SpongeBob and Patrick go to Sandy Cheeks' house, like, underwater. She lives in this air dome under the water, right? And they go inside, and, like, he's like, no sweat, I can handle the air, you know, no, no biggie, right? Goes in. And then, like, slowly but surely, he starts to dehydrate. And he's just sitting there, he's like, I'm fine! <laughs> and, then, and then she's like, well, what do y'all want? And he's like, a glass of water, please, that would be nice. And then, like, when she's not looking, he's, like, rugging, like, chugging that shit and, like, trying to smash outside the, the dome, you know? That's what happens, right? It's like, you know, you realize you have to work, right? Because I'm a 29-year-old, almost 30. I don't have anything to show for it, right? And like, I'm like, I need to work, right? I've, been, I, I've tried enough in my 20s to work, but let me actually tr do it now. So like, I'm like, do it. But as I do it, I have to make it sustainable. And I know from my past errors that like, you can't be too focused all the time on work. You need to, you need to take the time to relax. To shut it off, and that's harder than you think. For some, take it from me, so like someone who's like a type B personality. Like, 10 years ago, you wouldn't even have to ask me if it was difficult for me to relax. I relaxed by default, you know? I was like, hmm, <laughs> right? I didn't give a fuck, right? But now it's like, oh boy, like, l let me, let me, let me just take a deep breath. It's all good. It's all good. Happy thoughts. My favorite animes and music. You know, all my favorite nerdy stuff. Like, you know, God, it's it's good to be alive, right? You know, and, and like I have to like hypnotize myself. It's really what it is, and I've gotten better at it as, as like of age, right? But like that's what I did. I had to do. You know. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> But like, anyway, and I don't know, like, that's what I'm trying to do. And, you know, I'm doing these vlogs, and I'm doing these vlogs because I don't know what I'm doing these vlogs for, you know. Like I said, at one point in my life, I thought that I would do these vlogs as a business model. Like, you know, as something that might kick off at some point. It's like, I don't know. You know, like, I would have to invest a bit more effort into these videos in order to, to kind of make them marketable, right? Because right now, they, uh, they're too long. I ramble too much. I received one or two comments. Like, I was going to comment, I was going to actually make a bespoke entry for this. But I'll mention it here. Maybe if more people keep mentioning it, I'll make an entry, right? Because, yeah, it needs to be addressed. But like, I say like a lot, okay? I'm a scatterbrained person. Sometimes it's difficult for me to formulate thoughts in time, and I'm all over the place, right? So I say la like and right and you know and you know basically technically you know I say a lot of these filler words and I'm sorry about that right but like yeah I mean you have a point right like this my videos are too much full of those and so like in order to make my videos more appealing I would have to edit them right and I would have to just consider a lot more things I would actually have to tailor them because right now I just speak my mind you know, I just kind of talk about whatever tickles my fancy or my pickle, oh, you know, and like, I just run with that and, you know, and like, I just really, I just make these, these videos for me and like, I try to like, present my best ideas that I've been thinking about and yeah, and I hope that you derive some value from them. And if you do, that's great. You know, there have been a few people who have like, you know, commented over the, like some people who have commented like multiple times, you know, I. Like, thank you so much, you know. Um, yeah, and it's just like, I don't know, like, you, you didn't have to watch my videos, you know. <laughs> like, you didn't have to, you know, listen to the ramblings of some rando, but like, the fact that you did is like, it blows my mind, you know. It really does. So thank you for that. But yeah, like, man, yeah, I'm almost 30 and like, I'm getting a bit scared if I'm honest, like, Again, what is the, part, the more rational side of me, or, or the side that tries to stay optimistic, is like, 
it's not going to be that different, man. You know, it's just, it's just, you know, time passes, you know, it's like, it's not like 10 years have passed. You've just become 30, right? You know, you were 29 this year and you're 30 next year. You know, it's not really that much of a leap, but you know, it, it does scare me because it's like, oh man, am I failing? And like, am I sure about this? And like, you know, cause it's like, you know, I'm sure we all have these thoughts, but it's like, I wish that I'd started on this 10 years ago. I wish instead of wasting my time doing things that I didn't resonate with, that didn't really have a future for me, instead of doing that, that I, was, I started music and all of this stuff like 10 years ago, but I have those and that's, I'm just being honest, right? But like, the thing is that I can't do anything about that and doing any and trying to like obsess over that does not motivate me to do great things now which is my goal right and it's like yeah it, it's like kind of like a harsh realization but like there's also other parts of it it's like you know like my family like they they can't see what I'm doing you know and I'm sure that like all of us creatives out there doing something, it's like, it's difficult for your family to see what you're doing, to see the value of what you're doing. And like, you, you go, there are times in your life where you kind of resent that. And you resent like, your la the lack of support they gave you, maybe even the obstruction that they posed to you early in your life. And you get really resentful and you're like, if only they would just like, because it's like, I wish I'd done this 10 years ago, man. You know, I'm so behind, you know, I'm getting older, but it's like, you know what? I have everything, I owe everything to my family, right? Because if it weren't for them, I wouldn't even be doing music. And the important thing is not the past, right? In terms of the present, right? What, the, what is going on in terms of what I'm doing and what my family is doing and what every, everyone else is doing, that has nothing to do with the past. You know, the specter of the past is always there. You know, like I say, you know, we all have times when we get resentful. But like, the thing is that right now, if your family is supporting you, they are amazing, right? You owe them so much, you know? If, you know, they may not understand what you're doing, right? You know, I know, I, I know, I know what it's like, trust me. Like, I'm one of you, right? Ha <laughs> ha, I'm a lemming, <laughs> but like, you know, but like, but then you think about like, you know, the fact that they're supporting you and they're not obstructing you, right? Do you know how much of a gift that is? Like, you know, I know, I, trust me, I, I don't, I'm not always appreciative of that, but I try to be. And, you know, and, and I, have, I have days when I, you know, in, in my vlog entries, I, I present my best self, but there are some days where I'm just at home and I do nothing. And like, I'm a lot better than I used to be, right? You know, it's five years ago, I'm way better now, right? Just like my ability to like, just be like, okay, let me just do this, right? You know, let me just, nope. You know, let me just do the dishes or let me just do a bit of music production. Let me go out and do this vlog entry. Well, vlog entries have always been easy for me because I always enjoyed making them. They were always therapeutic for me to make. And I always look forward to making them. And yeah, they, they don't really, they really don't take that much effort at all on my part, but you know, other things do, but you know. Yeah, and like, I don't know. It's important to like be objective, but it's also important sometimes to like just tap into your feelings, you know, if you're feeling sad or you're like, you're depressed or like you're, you, you just feel like everything's going wrong to be with that, you know, to like breathe that in and feel it because you don't want to become an unfeeling husk. Because that's another thing I'm afraid of. Like, I'm afraid of... I, fi I find that sometimes the more I'm in it, the less I can feel sometimes. And it scares me because, like, I've always been a sensitive soul, but, like, sometimes I feel like 
in my kind of like dogma, I suppose, in in my kind of one single-minded focus, which I'm building towards succeeding. Sometimes I feel like I have no time for my feelings anymore, and I try and check into them, and they're not there, and it scares me. But but then I come out on a good day like this. I go for a hike. I go for a run. I drink some green juice, which I didn't. I drank that today. I haven't drank it for ages because I've been on this keto thing for the past month and a bit. Except in the last week or so where I kind of just went crazy on the carbs again, you know, but... Um, if, you want my, if you want my opinion on, keto, on the ketogenic diet, it's great. Like, there's benefits to low-carb low diets because the things I found that were most prominent on that diet were clarity of thinking. Like, not, no longer like this fog where I can't think. You know, my mind's just like, Ugh, and I can't think, right? But like, your thinking clears up, right? Your energy stays constant over time, right? You don't like have these dips where like you're suddenly really tired, especially after you've had like a heavy meal. Like you're just like you just want to take a nap and like you don't you don't feel like doing anything. Like your 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 energy stays constant. Your skin improves, right? Your skin improves, and you lose weight. You know, that's probably a big one for most people. It was for me. Like, I kind of wanted to, because I was, I was chubby, right? You know, if you watch my videos from, like, circa 2014 to 15, like, I was really skinny. But then, like, at some point, I kind of got a bit, I got a bit fat. And now I'm kind of in that sweet spot where I'm not too skinny and, like, you know, I'm not too fat. And I want to maintain it. But, like, my, what I've done is, like, I was, I tried the ketogenic diet. And it was very liberal, right? It wasn't really a ketogenic diet. It was like a modified Atkins diet because I had a lot of protein and I was f still quite liberal with my carbs, although I made it uh, a mission to not, to count them, to make sure that I wasn't like shooting way over like the limit of 50 grams a day. Um, you know, and I tried that and like, I saw the benefits, but I also saw the drawbacks, right? You know, you, because your energy is so constant, like it's hard to kind of spike yourself. Like for example, if you want to go for a jog, it you get it, it's difficult. You, you, it's almost like you don't have enough energy because like the diet is designed to keep you like on a nice baseline. But any more intensity than that, like you know, it kind of gets difficult. Um, it gets difficult. Um, you have cravings and like you, you know, it's like it. You start, you, you start becoming a bit like, bleh, right? You know, it's like, you, you, it's just like, nothing's really wrong with you. If anything, like you're, you're really healthy and you, it's something you can maintain, but like, but you just, you lose that kind of spark to you, right? You know, like, you don't, like your inspiration is some, when it comes, it, it's really kind of like, just like, not really anything even to talk about, right? And like, yeah, you know, so like, from that I realized, or well, what I'm doing now is like, I, I eat low carbs, or as close to that as I can, right, throughout the week. And then in the weekends, which is when I work, you know, I, I do something like, do, I do physical work, food deliveries, um, I, I, can, I, I let myself go, right, I have cheat weekends basically, right, and I'm going to see how that goes. But like, it seems to make sense to me, right? Maybe I'll tweak it so that it's once every two weeks, but like, we'll see, right? Um, <laughs> like the other day I had like an energy drink for the first time in like years, right? And like, I was surprised because, well, surprised and not surprised, right? I was surprised because it like, it was like amazing. Like the feeling I got when I like, you know, like 20 minutes after I drank it, I was like, oh, oh my God, life is amazing. I feel so alive, right? You know, but then like the next morning, right? Cause I drank it at night. I, I was like, oh, someone please kill me. <laughs> like I felt so bad, but like it was interesting, right? Cause I hadn't done that in like years really. Or I really can't remember the last time I've done it, um, but. Yeah, you know, and, and that's me really. Like every day I try to, you know, I, I have this weekly music goal. I try to like just do music a lot, right? Research on it, try and improve my skills, try and get new tools for my music, you know. And I do these to, to relax and to express myself. 
and I try to keep my diet relatively okay and like I've rediscovered the importance of exercise so I'm gonna try and do that more often now. But it's like it's really it's like a it's it's a it's a palette of things, right? That's what you learn the older you get, is like it's a palette of things. It's not one thing, right? Because you do that one thing and it stops working after a while, because guess what? You've lost you've dropped the ball on all of these other things, like diet, exercise, right? Proactivity to work, but also proactivity to rest. Um, you know, and similar to the, similar to the, well, like mirroring the diet thing. Like yeah, like when rest also in, 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 involves like doing novel and exciting things, right? Which is why I drank that energy drink. I know, so fucking daredevil of you, Bo, right? Drinking an energy drink, you know. But it's like you need, like, particularly if you're an artist. Particularly artists. Did you get in this for money? <laughs> no. <laughs> like, it's like you need inspiration. You know, you're not like some de desk worker, right? By profession, which is why kind of like I, I felt that the ketogenic diet, or my variant of it at least, was not really fully suited to me, like a very strict one anyway. Because I'm not like a bodybuilder, or like you know like a business person, right? Like, I'm a creative, like, I'm like a, an artist, right? And like, sometimes you need some like crazy, th you need some crazy inspiration as an artist, right? You at the very least want to get into your feelings and sometimes like being on like a strict diet, you know, that doesn't give you occasional windows to indulge yourself, like just does not lend itself to the creative path, like the artistic path specifically. Right? So like, you know, sometimes you need to eat that fucking cake or like drink that coke, right? Because it's like, it's something that kind of like, you know, it's like an indulging act. So it's like, in a, I guess, a not very kosher way, it's like self-love, right? You know, you might smoke cigarettes. You might smoke cigar weed, right? You know, whatever, like, you know, any any deeper than that, like I, I hesitate to, to advocate for, but like, you know, like, you know, cigarettes, you know, if, if, if they, do if they help you and like the only way you can find that out is by giving it up for, for a sec right to know that you're not addicted to them but then like you might real you might realize you know, hey i like having a you know i like taking a puff or two every week right and it's like i don't know maybe that's a bit too much but like i i, I know my frequency you know it's like i don't want to be without cigarettes because they do something for me that like being clean and kosher does doesn't right and it's like i know that's very controversial right i'm just speaking my mind here right you know um i'm not saying you should smoke if anything i don't smoke occasionally i might drink some alcohol and i might have like some energy drink or something but like i'm not you know i'm i, I don't i don't but it's just that personally i don't need drugs right you know ha i'm so much better and it's like yeah I, I just personally don't need them right you know i've never really felt any compulsion to take drugs so I don't need them, right? But like, you know, but sugar, hell fuck yeah. Energy drinks, hell fuck yeah. And occasionally alcohol, although like, yeah, I, I, I still don't really like alcohol that much. Um, I prefer caffeine, <laughs> you know, because alcohol kind of makes you dumb, you know, and anything that makes you dumb, like this is why like weed doesn't appeal to me either. But at least caffeine, it's a stimulant, right? So like it kind of accelerates where you're at, you know? I feel like I don't need to, I don't know. I'm already, I'm too laid back as it is, right? You know? I don't need more of that shit. <laughs> like, I'm trying to get more hard working, you know, so like, weed and alcohol, like... Yeah, I'm not really that interested. But anyway, so... I think I'm gonna end this here because I'm really hot, like, and there's really not much else to say. It's just like... Maybe you can relate, you know, but like, yeah, like... Every day I try, you know, it's like the first time in my life I'm trying at anything really, consistently, and you know, I'm having to learn discipline and... Um, flexibility, but like, commitment. That's really the word I would use. It's like commitment to something, you know. I've decided I've decided to make that thing music, um, and yeah, you know, amongst other things, you know. But like, um, rigid, flexible is, is what I what I called it at one point. Like being rigid enough to like to make sure that you make progress um, and you get things done, including relaxation, but also flexible enough to allow for like life to change because it fucking changes and like today's world you know it changes like that right so you got to keep on top of it so you can't have like the same plan
or more than like a couple months at a time you have to you have to you have to kind of change it right but like any case yeah so that's what i'm going through and it's hard but like you know i'm keep i'm i'm trying i'm keeping trying and yeah like you know it's not all bad it, it's it's like when it goes well it goes well so anyway so cool i'm gonna go now before i dehydrate like i that's the thing is like when you run like, or do any form of exercise, you really appreciate sleep and beverage. Even now, right? Like, after being in the sauna, like, I'm gonna appreciate the cool air outside so much. Um, you know, so, anyway, thank you very much for watching me ramble, guys. This is, yeah, it's just literally me rambling. It's Lego Mobo, right? So, but yeah, I hope that is entertaining or <laughs> I don't fucking know, but like, or you can relate in what I'm saying, but. Yeah, and next time we'll get back to the serious stuff, but yeah, so cool. Thank you for watching this, guys. Hope you're doing well. Hope you are sticking in there and, like, giving yourself space to feel terrible at times, but, like, just, like, breathing it in and feeling all host of emotions, love, misery. Like, yeah, I'm glad I'm going, I'm going back into exercise as well, because, like, that's another thing that helps you feel better. Because right? when you don't exercise, you kind of numb yourself a bit. Like, a sedentary lifestyle is not good for you. And, like, unfortunately, my current, you know, music is not... But, like, because I make, I make it in the box, right? Which basically means, like, I sit in front of my computer all day and make music. And it's, like, it's not really that good for you. So, yeah, I'm glad I'm doing this. But, yeah, you know, I hope you're sticking in there. And, like, I wish you all the best. Like, I wish you all the best. I hope that everything that you wish for will come to you. And, like, maybe not necessarily in the form that you are thinking right now. But I just hope that, like, you will find happiness. And like fulfillment you know as i wish that for myself so yeah keep going stay conscious stay safe stay yourself stay awesome until next time guys thank you very much for watching this peace out take care guys see you next time Whoosh.